I downloaded the internet onto this Raspberry Pi. Not the entire internet, but millions and millions of articles, thousands and thousands of videos, and hundreds of different subject areas that I can access when the real internet is unavailable. This is a Kiwix hotspot, and I've set up this Raspberry Pi to act as an information source that can be connected to and accessed via a web browser in the same way that we would access websites if the internet was available. But it's all here on this device. Over 2 billion people do not have access to the internet. They may be in areas where the internet's unavailable, restricted, or unreliable. So by using this Raspberry Pi as a hotspot, I can make this information available without having to rely on a connection to the actual internet. First, let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you exactly how we set it up. For fun, I set this one up as a prepper hotspot so that I can uh, use it in the event of a zombie apocalypse, which is something I'm always preparing for. I want to make sure that if that happens, I'm, I'm covered. So we can just as easily set this up though as a hotspot to act as a mobile schoolhouse to bring education to anyone anywhere. So these hotspots can be accessed with inexpensive devices such as a Chromebook or another Raspberry Pi device or mobile devices such as phones and tablets. So anybody can access it as long as they have wireless and the ability to launch a web browser. So let's take a look at what it looks like and then I'll show you exactly how to set it up. Once I set up the hotspot, it appears as a web page. I connect to the hotspot and then I can browse the internet by going through and navigating different subject areas. So you can see here, I can look at things like how to forecast the weather, different types of weather patterns, how to recognize things. This is going to be very helpful if I need to learn information and I don't have a connection to the internet, but I want to learn about all these subject areas. There's even videos. So for example, there's a YouTube channel called Canadian Prepper, and a lot of the videos from that channel are downloaded as part of this package. And I can watch these videos in their entirety, again, without having the need to connect to the actual internet. These are all on my hotspot. I can go in and I can do things like learn how to fix things. So there's the iFixit site. I can learn how to fix devices. I can learn how to fix appliances. I can learn how to fix cars and trucks. So let's say I'm scouring the landscape after the apocalypse and I find an old BMW that I need to do some repairs on. No problem. I have all sorts of videos on how I can go in there and fix these different cars. So let's just choose a car here. We'll choose an older BMW from the early 2000s and all different ways to work with uh, this particular car. Now, let's take a look at what I did to set it up. The first thing we're going to do is visit the Kiwix website and then we can go in and we can get a hotspot. So with the hotspot, we can purchase a pre-built hotspot. There's a whole bunch of different ones. There's a Wikipedia one. There's the Preppers one. There's all sorts of uh, different ones that are useful depending on your circumstance. For fun, I, I did get the Prepper one. And what we do is we can download it as an OS only. That's the entire software for the hotspot. We have to bring our own Raspberry Pi. So we'll go to the raspberrypi.org website and we'll download the Raspberry Pi imager. What we're going to do is download and install the imager. And then once we've done that, we'll run the imager. I have a Raspberry Pi 4 that I installed this onto. And we're going to choose a custom image. We'll choose the custom image that we purchased from Kiwix. And that will be the image that will be burned onto the card. So we'll choose our media. And then I'll clear any settings just to make sure that it's a clean card. We'll erase the card. And it will now go in, open, format, and put the image onto the card. This can take a little bit of time because the image is quite large. So you do have to do the initial download from an internet connected computer. But then once you've put it onto the Raspberry Pi and booted the Raspberry Pi, it will act as a standalone hotspot that doesn't require any internet access. So it'll go through, it'll install, it'll verify the install. And now we can take that little SD micro SD card and put it into our Raspberry Pi 
and we'll be able to boot the Raspberry Pi and connect to it. The first step is we'll connect up to the Quix hotspot, which will appear as a wireless network on your network. You're not connecting up to the internet. This is actually the Raspberry Pi that you've installed the operating system onto. It's running as a server, and then we access it uh, through a web browser. It's as simple as that. And I've done this on my Chromebook. I've done this on a Windows machine. I've done this with my phone, my tablet. You can see with Wikipedia, there's over just about 7 million articles here. You can go in and learn about all sorts of things without the need uh, to be connected to the actual internet. And it comes with all the diagrams in here. A lot of the links are active, if not most of them. So you can go and explore those as well. It's very, very useful if you don't have an internet connection. If you're interested in setting up your own Kiwix hotspot, visit the links in the description below to find their website and some links to some of the hardware that I used, such as the Raspberry Pi. You do not need to use a Raspberry Pi 5. I actually set mine up on an old Raspberry Pi 4 that I had lying around, and it just sits around being this cool hotspot just in case those zombies uh, come and knocking at the door. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below on what you might use a non-internet connected internet for.